Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello from whatever time you get. <clears throat> okay, this intro is just not doing me any justice this morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello from whatever time you are watching this video. As you all know, I will be taking you guys through a full day of eating. As you will see in this video, I am a bit of a bottomless pit. That rhymed. As you'll see in this video, I am a bit of a bottomless pit when it comes to eating whole nutritious foods. So I'll be sharing with you guys some easy, simple recipes that I use on a daily basis. Obviously, I don't eat exactly like this every day, but from this video, you'll get a pretty decent idea of what I eat in a typical day. Just because I'm sharing with you guys how I eat on a typical day, this does not necessarily mean this will work for you. So do not feel inclined to follow what I eat because everybody needs something specific for their body in particular. Now, let's get into this video. All right, folks, before we jump into my breakfast, I need to come clean with you guys about something. Something that I've been struggling with a lot lately, and the thing is, I am an oatmeal addict. <sighs> I think that if I did not have oatmeal every morning, I would genuinely get withdrawals. But you know what? Oatmeal makes my heart happy, and if you don't like oatmeal, then I am offended. Oh my god. Why is this so hard? If any of you know how to cut a kiwi properly, please let me know in the comments because I always struggle with this every single time so any tips tricks let me know if you guys are wondering these are the behind the scenes struggles of trying to make your breakfast look instagrammable oh my god clearly the way i remove the pits from my cherries is very conventional This, this is the best part of oatmeal. Oh my gosh, would you just look. Look at that, look at that. Didn't even need any churning. Guys, come on, look at that. Doesn't even need any churning. Already drizzleable. Oh my gosh. This is the best nut butter on the entire planet and I will stand by that statement until I die. Oh my gosh, you can see the nut butter lake just <laughs> oozing onto that fresh kiwi but anyways in this bowl of oatmeal we've got some fresh bloobs some freshly cut strawberries and organic cherries we've got some kiwi some almonds and some hemp seeds and then of course just a mountainous ocean of nut butter because nut butter nut butter guys nut butter is the best guys i'm telling you i eat so much nut butter i go through jars like at an unruly rate my nut butter consumption levels have went i am just absolutely in love with nut butters in every way shape or form but if it's like cement and you can't drizzle it on your oatmeal and if it's not like that nice liquid creamy texture i don't want it okay don't bring it to me i am going to Eat this off camera and I will check back in with you after I have absolutely devoured this amazing, incredible bowl of oatmeal. Alrighty guys, that is it for breakfast. So I will see you at lunchtime. Because I eat a mostly vegan diet and therefore do not eat any meat or dairy products, it is crucial that I supplement with a vegan multivitamin as well as iron and B12. Alright, so I just finished a killer leg workout and I'm feeling pretty dang hungry so I think it's time that we head to the kitchen and make some lunch. I always incorporate fresh greens and produce into my diet just because that's what I crave most of the time but especially in the summer just having some nice refreshing vegetables is all that I want. And I just prefer honestly more nutritious foods than not because that's what I find gives my body the most energy and fuels me and repairs my muscles and just keeps me happy. I do eat a plant-based diet, so nothing that you see me eat will have meat or dairy in it. Today for lunch, I have decided to make a nice, refreshing salad. Because I am eating this after a workout, I wanna make sure this salad has enough 
protein carbs and healthy fats to fuel my body and repair my muscles after my workout so let me show you what i've got going on here i always have sweet potato pre-cooked because i absolutely love sweet potato it is one of the healthiest carbs on this planet and yes i do eat my sweet potato with the skin on it because it's one of the best parts and if you think otherwise then you're crazy next up we've got a creamy creamy avocado for some healthy fats because who does not love avocado in a salad for my protein of choice i have chosen some tempeh and i will be sauteing that quick tangent if you think that green bell peppers are good feel free to unsubscribe from my channel because that is just a disgrace to the sweet juicy red yellow and orange bell peppers and that's all i have to say green bell peppers are inferior and should be removed from grocery stores that's just my opinion but if you like them then i guess i'm a little offended anyways next up we have some cherry tomatoes and these guys these are actually picked from my garden my garden is absolutely exploding with tomatoes right now as well as other nice fruits and vegetables in addition to the tempeh and bell pepper i will also be sauteing some mushrooms i will also be adding some cucumber to the salad because cucumber is just nice crisp and refreshing and who does not love cucumber in a salad in the summer next up i will be adding some kimchi because i love kimchi it has a lot of nice probiotics and i think it's just a good way to pack in some extra nutrients into your food as the base i will be using some nice nice crispy red leaf lettuce i will also be adding some basil on top i would also usually add cilantro but we don't have that today and of course i must add a creamy dollop enormous dollop of hummus mm. i think i've got everything i need in this bowl the only thing left to do is to absolutely devour it. So I'm going to turn off the camera and demolish this yummy, delicious bowl of greens and healthy fats and carbs and proteins. And I will see you guys on the other side. Cheers. What time is it? Taco time. For the top, I was of course going to add some tahini and nutritional yeast just for some extra healthy fats and protein. All right guys, dinner is served. Obviously these are really small tacos, so I will definitely, definitely be making some more of these. I'm gonna go send these down the chute and then I will see you guys in a few minutes. Although the tortilla was falling apart, these tacos were definitely a 10 out of 10. After dinner, I was obviously going to treat myself to some dessert because who doesn't love something sweet after dinner? Tonight, I tried a brand new dairy-free ice cream that I saw in Whole Foods and I loved it. My taste buds were clearly very happy. Definitely will be buying this again. This is the name of the brand in case you want to try it on your own. For the rest of the evening, I sat back and enjoyed my ice cream. And that brings us to an end of the what I eat in a day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, and if you want to stick around, subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to hustle for that muscle, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!